Damon L. Jacobs, I'm here at We Love Soaps TV, and I am here with beautiful Crystal Chappelle and the very talented and cute Eddie Campbell, <laughs> author of the Days of Our Lives 45th Anniversary book. <laughs> it's thank so you, great thank you. to meet you. Well, thanks for having us here. Uh, the book is Days of Our Lives 45 Years, a Celebration in Photos. Uh, right now it is on Amazon.com. In fact, it, it's already gone through one order on Amazon.com, wow. so it's doing very well. It's also on BarnesandNoble.com and in uh, Borders and Barnes & Noble stores. Wow. Yeah, just about anywhere. Just about everywhere. Just about anywhere. A beautiful, beautiful holiday gift. And for people who have grown up watching the show or watch the show now or ever had a mother or a grandmother or an aunt or just someone they love, this is the perfect, perfect book for them. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, we sort of, you know, again, the book isn't like the entire 45-year history of the show. What it is is it's really sensitive to the past. It goes back to Tom and Alice and Alice sitting in uh, the Horton living room chair. And uh, we do the Horton living room. It's behind the scenes. It's unlike anything the fans have ever seen from the show. That's right. And I'm, you know, I've been a soap fan my whole life, and I've watched the show my whole life. And there's just there's a lot of pictures in here I've never seen. And I've always seen soap opera digest and right. you know so many of the magazines, but I have not seen these pictures before. So this is a treat for me. Even it's, some Suzanne Rogers and Bill and Susan Hayes pictures. It's very are nostalgic. Yeah. It's yeah. wonderful to see a soap in any form, you know, in its black and white in the early days. But for Days of Our Lives fans, they're going to love going back and reminiscing and looking at these pictures. And and seeing all the new pictures you guys gathered, which is amazing. Yeah. That's right. Talk about the new pictures in here. Talk well, about the new pictures. What we did took. was we didn't want to just, you know, dig through boxes and boxes of archives and just put together a scrapbook. What we wanted to do was we wanted to make a timeless, progressive, modern coffee table book that would be on your coffee table for another 45 years. And we did a photo shoot in 2010 with all of the cast and crew. And we were basically flies on the wall, like Crystal mentioned earlier. You know, a lot of the times the actors didn't even know we were standing there taking photos. And that's what we wanted, hey. because the fans can't see the show being taped, because it doesn't tape in front of an audience. So what this is, this is stage doors open, lights, camera, action, unlike anything a dual fan has ever seen from the show. This is not the story of Days of Our Lives and their, their history on television. This is a celebration, the 45th anniversary, all year long. And it's resonating very, very well with fans, critics, everyone. It's great, and it brings back a lot of great memories too for those of us that have watched the show and follow the show. You know, it's just it's it's a nice it's a nice and feeling. And for people yeah. who are new viewers, I mean, they can look at the current pictures of the current cast pictures, yeah. but then go back yeah. and sort of get a, a slight education on you know who who was Alice and who was she then, and know that Jennifer was you know her granddaughter, mm -hmm. right? And yep. yeah, you so you get these you sort of connect the dots by going backwards. Right, right, and that makes watching the show so much more enjoyable, um, especially because right now they they definitely write to the history and they, they remind us uh, quite often of things that had happened before, like um, Carly's friendship with Isabella, that's brought up a lot. Um, you know, so things that really enrich the current viewing. Now, how did you come about doing this? How was this for you? Um, I, my background is in art direction. Uh -huh. I worked on a slew of TV series, and uh, Greg Meng, my co-author, um, pulled me in to art direct and creative direct the photo shoot, and then uh, Corday Productions turned to me and said, you know, you want to do the whole book? and we'll turn it into the publisher that way. And that's kind of how it came about. And uh, sometimes you're in the right place at the right time and it just fits. And you know, I spent weeks going through archive photos at NBC and what I wanted to do was, um, I did a lot of history and research on the show. My grandmother used to watch it, my aunt used to watch it, Days was always on in the background. So it's also been a part of my family, ironically. And um, so I just made sure that the book, What I didn't want to do like, 1965, 1967, 68, you know, I didn't want it too chronological, but we start in 1965 and we end in 2010. And in the middle, it's kind of like creative, free flow, kind of fun. There's an amazing shot of Doug and Julie, uh, Bill and Susan Hayes, who are just delightful people, and they are on a tandem bicycle, and Susan Hayes is reading her script while Doug is steering the bike. That's and it's wow. just an amazing, it's a black and white photo, and it's that kind of stuff that I think that the fans are going to find to be true gems of this book. Yeah. Did you also watch it while your, your family was watching it growing up? I, I, every now and then, I, I remember um, Tom and Alice Horton. I do remember the characters. I remember Carly, Bo, Hope. I remember the characters really well, but I wasn't, I didn't consistently watch the show. I've been watching it more in the past couple of years than I ever did before. Yeah. Did you ever see that whole thing with Carly Buried Alive? Uh, I not only did I see it, I've heard about it, I've read about it. Uh, you know, I think that's still getting dirt out of places. <laughs> you know, and, you didn't know dirt. Yeah. That's one of the fun things about soaps is it's an escape. It's not, you know, it's not. Um, 
partly getting buried. I think there have been several characters who have been buried alive as well and come back. And that's the fun thing about soaps. And that's why dual fans aren't going anywhere. In fact, they're getting stronger. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely think um, that soaps often lend something to their audience having to do with resilience and being able to overcome obstacles and overcome adversity. And Carly is one of those characters that we've seen overcome <laughs> adversity more than, you know, six feet under. That's middle but, um, <laughs> but it's also, I think, kind of symbolic of, of kind of the human spirit and how we can overcome obstacles in our own lives when we're struggling. And your book really speaks to that in terms of looking back at some of these pictures and looking at the current pictures saying, hey, yeah, these people have really, you know, they're characters, but they've gone through a lot and, you know, and they, survived. Can, and they have survived. That's right. And they've survived this, this new virus that was recently featured on the show. And <laughs> there was a virus back in 91 when Carly was a, solving I've been viruses the virus then. Before that I have. She's done the viruses. She's solved a couple of viruses, yes. Yeah. Well, she's good. <laughs> she's good. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 I, uh, Give her we, a virus. We can make her president. That's, that's <laughs> right. Crystal Chappelle for president. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what kind of feedback have you gotten so far from people who have read the book? Um, amazing feedback, actually. Yeah. People have been tweeting about it and blogging about it. We've got a, a great reviews on Amazon and Borders and fantastic reviews. But, you know, while the book is geared to the fans, and it's actually a great thing, actually, even for the, the cast and the crew of the show to have, because we feature the crew as well. Because um, they're just as pivotal to the show, pivotal to the show as anyone else is. Mm -hmm. um, and but the interesting thing too about this book is we also the book is also appealing to photographers, art directors, creative directors, um, filmmakers, film students. The day in the life of taping with Christian Alfonso opening the door to 2010, 2011, and the future. If you if you look carefully through that section of the book, it could actually teach you how to work in the film business. Really, we start out in the morning in hair and makeup go through uh, being on set, lunch breaks, back to set, we go through post, we're in the um, edit bays, and it's a wrap. So it actually is kind of a tutorial as well. So it's not just for, for Day's fans. There's a whole other sort of audience out there for this book. That's fascinating. It is. That is fascinating. And? And it all, you know, the other thing too is that, like I was saying earlier, it's, you know, it's, it's doing well on Amazon. Yeah. It sold out in two weeks on Amazon, which they're restocked. So wow. don't be nervous. They've restocked it. You still get them in time for Christmas. Yes, absolutely. This, and the thing or is. Or New Year's. And all, not only that, the book is really, really sensitively priced at today's economy. Yes. This is a $50 or $75 book, but Corday Productions and Sourcebooks made sure to price this sensitive to the economy. The book is $29, $29.99 wow. in stores, and I think $19 or $20 on Amazon.com. Wow. Steal. Tremendous value. It's yeah. 256 pages, over 600 photos, and uh, I've got one on my coffee table, so I don't know why everyone else wouldn't. <laughs> These are, I mean, it's a beautiful book. It's hardcover, and that is actually a really, really great price for such a, a rich book and yes, a coffee table yeah. book. Absolutely. Um, what's next for you as far as doing more of this with Days of Our Lives or doing well, other projects? you know, or? I'm going to speak directly to the fans. If okay. this book keeps doing extremely well, I think that, you know, Carly, what do you think? Maybe a book every year? Maybe one every couple years? I think there should be one every year. Okay. Every anniversary. Yeah, you know, if the fans keep going out in droves and getting this book, uh, we should look into some more. I Let's like that. Do that. Absolutely. I like that. That's, that's your assignment. Yes, your assignment is to make this book number one. There you go. Well, and, and as we said, it's been sold out. Um, and it's certainly, again, quite a, a touching gift that people can share. It's not just like a gift that you could give someone, like, you know, and have them go on their way. It's actually something that can stay on the coffee table or stay on the shelf all year oh, round yeah. that you can go back and you can share. And again, for anyone who has watched the show and enjoyed the show, it will be treasured. And just like, you know, what the show is about, which is a family, you yeah. know, generations of family. This is a book that a family can share. I mean, oh. it's central to the home. It's on the coffee table or whatever your table is. Right. And, but it's, it's something that you can sit down with your, your daughter with, your granddaughter, and everyone will get something out of it. And can you imagine your grandmother sitting next to you and going, I remember that show? Telling yeah. your child yes. that and then being able to kind of go through it and see the history. I think that's wonderful. You yeah. did a really great job. Excellent point because things on a coffee table in a home create conversation. And I guarantee you this book's going to create a lot of conversation. Yeah. And, uh, you know, especially for a lot of fans, 
having Bo and Hope on the cover, there's a lot of fans that I'm sure have already said, I want Bo and Carly on the cover. That oh always God. stimulates conversations oh. and families as well. Absolutely. Healthy debates about who they want to see it's and so who's going to be together and the mm -hmm. ongoing triangle of Bo, Carly, and Hope. And that always, you know, stimulates, <laughs> that can, in the days of our lives, family, that can always stimulate conversation too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell me again, what else is going on here in New York? You're in this great city. It's wintertime. It's an exciting city. What else is, is happening for you here? New York is awesome in December. New York is awesome all year long, but December, there's no place like it in the world. Yeah. Um, we're doing a book signing here as well while we're here for the day's 45 years book. <laughs> um, we're also here with Deidre Hall, and she has a book really? out, and I have it with me, actually. It's Deidre Hall's Let's Kitchen Close-Up. Wow. Okay. Deidre Hall's Kitchen Close-Up. This is also available on Amazon. Yes. And available in stores. Um, what about this book? What? Tell me about it. Well, it's actually, it's a, it's a great little book, and uh, she's got recipes in here, she's got life tips, um, and I actually made one of her recipes just to make sure I can promote her book, and I can. Do you typically I, cook? I'm not a cook, but she's got things that go in a blender. Okay, so, um, I don't cook either, but for, I do, I can blend. Uh, you know, yeah. if you're in a hurry, this is good, she, but there's also, you know, real soup recipes and things that, you know, take time to create, but I made her peanut butter uh, shake, and it was fantastic. Wow, and I'm assuming these are kind of like healthy things, right? These yes, like yes, shape. mostly yeah, health. Yes, very healthy. Yes. So, and, and you're helping to promote that? And, yes. And she'll, were you involved with this book? Or, not, I wasn't or? involved with the book, but we're helping to promote her book for mm -hmm. her. And she's, we're here with her together on the signing. And we just got back from Miami having a great time with her. She's lovely and delightful. And she's exactly what everyone thinks that she is. Amazing. Awesome. Awesome. So D Kitchen, Deidre Hall's Kitchen Close-Up is a great book for people who want to eat healthy, who don't typically cook, like me. Right, Thank you. And, um, and, and again, Days fans can learn a lot about Deidre Hall and about eating healthy with this book as well. Absolutely. Right? Okay. All right. So twenty nine ninety five, right? Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. In stores. In stores. But Amazon and Borders, I think uh, Borders and BarnesandNoble.com, I believe it's nineteen or twenty dollars. Excellent. Which, wow, that, <laughs> that's quite that's, a deal. That's an amazing value. Wow. Oh, okay. So how can you lose? You can't lose with that. Definitely check out Days of Our Lives 45th Anniversary Edition. And Eddie, I want to thank you so much for talking you, with Damon. me. Thank you, Damon. Thank you for us. another interview, thank darling. You so thank you for having us. And we love thank soaps. Thank you. We, we love soaps TV.